Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. We got everything from hoodies, hats, leggings, joggers. We got a little bit of everything to get to drip on. Inspiredbydreams.shop. Okay, let's get it. Karma Kids. In the heart of Chicago, where the streets pulse with the sounds of drill music and the echoes of street violence, lived three kids whose lives were intertwined by a legacy of pain and suffering. Their parents, once figures of power and influence in the entertainment world, have made choices that left a dark shadow over their children's lives. Jaden was the son of a famous drill rapper known for his violent lyrics and criminal past. Despite his father's fame, Jaden grew up in a home filled with anger and neglect. His father's lifestyle had attracted enemies. And the constant threat of violence was a part of Jaden's everyday life. The streets became Jaden's refuge, but they were also a source of danger and temptation. Maya was the daughter of a once popular actress who had succumbed to the pressures of fame, turning to drugs and leaving Maya to fend for herself. See, Maya's mother had been in and out of rehab, unable to provide the stability Maya needed. The trauma of her mother's neglect left Maya struggling with her own mental health issues, seeking solace in dangerous company. Andre was the son of a powerful music producer who had exploited many artists to rise to the top. See, Andre's father had enemies in every corner of the industry, and Andre grew up witnessing the ruthless side of the business. His father's disregard for others' well-being left Andre feeling isolated and distrustful of the world around him. As Jaden, Maya, and Andre navigated their tumultuous lives, they found solace in each other's company. They shared experiences, created a bond, but the weight of their parents' sins was a constant burden. They tried to escape their reality through various means. Jaden through street hustling, Maya through risky relationships, and Andre through music. See, despite their efforts, the cycle of violence and trauma seemed inescapable. Jaden, trying to prove himself, got involved in the gang. Maya, searching for love and acceptance, ended up with a boyfriend who was abusive. Andre, seeking to create a different legacy, found himself entangled in street conflicts due to his father's past actions. One fateful evening, the three friends found themselves at a local park, trying to forget their troubles. As they sat talking about their dreams and fears, a car drove by and shots rang out. It was a drive-by shooting. A grim reminder of the violence that pervaded their lives. Jaden was hit, collapsing to the ground, and Maya and Andre screamed for help. See, Jaden's death was a devastating blow to his friends and community. Maya and Andre were left to grapple with the trauma, feeling the full weight of their inherited karma. The tragedy sparked a wave of mourning and reflection among those who knew them, highlighting the destructive impact of cycles of violence and neglect. Jaden's story serves as a stark reminder of the long-lasting effects of parents' actions on their children. Their cycle of violence, trauma, and mental health struggles continues to plague communities, affecting the innocent and perpetuating pain. Maya and Andre, now carrying the scars of their loss, became advocates for change, determined to break the cycle and create a better future for the next generation. Until next time, Mickey made it.